Hey everyone, what's going on? What's going on? On this Monday night, March 15, 2021, huh? How is everyone doing? I'm just doing my podcast today. Um, yesterday I was, uh, uh, I was watching, what the hell I was watching? Grammys. Fucking Grammys I was watching. Uh, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched part of it. And then I got sick and tired. And then I got lazy. And um, and then I just went to bed, you know. How is everyone doing? Huh? I uh, just took it easy. Sorry, hold on a sec. Or the weekend, and uh, I played some golf. Uh, I went to the uh, Skyway Golf Course, you know, um, on Saturday actually. I went there and uh, I played nine holes, you know. Uh, it was kind of windy and cold, but uh, it wasn't bad, you know. The sun was still out, and uh, I'm going to do that more often. I got the uh, Hudson County resident card, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's one of my hobbies I wanted to do. I have to buy some clubs, you know. I bought these... Uh, these couple of clubs. One, uh, I think it's like an iron. Um, and then the other one is a driver. And then, uh, you know, a small golf bag. But I think I'm gonna buy like a whole set of like fucking golf clubs, you know. If I'm gonna do that more often, let's say once every two weeks, um, and uh, I might actually take some lessons too, you know. Uh, let's see, so yeah, that was nice, and then I just took it easy. Friday night, I had a date. Um, and um, been just focusing on work. And uh, that's uh, that's about it. My fucking boring life, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I get bored. Um, as much as maybe you, some of you, feel that way. Um, I don't know. Maybe you know. I'm in my fucking midlife. I don't have any wife, any kids. Um, but I got to spend my time, you know, I got to spend my time on this planet, right? And, uh, productive. I think that's what I, uh, I've been saying this many times on my podcast. And, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, my birthday is coming up. I guess all the Irish people celebrate my birthday. Being that I was born on March 17th, right? Or uh, the uh, St. Saint, Saint Patrick's Day, right? I don't believe that St. Patrick's never drank any of that. Same thing with Lord Jesus. You know, I don't believe that he ever had a girlfriend like when he was young, right? But in any case, um, I'm just going to not do anything. Uh, I think my sister wants to do something because there's the uh, there is the Persian New Year, I think on the 21st. So she wants to do something on that weekend, which is next weekend. I don't know. I have also been thinking about uh, like flying to uh, flying to. Uh, Austin, you know, 
for the weekend if I can get like a flight, right? Maybe towards the end of March I will do that. I still have the uh, the flights booked for uh, you know San Diego with my girlfriend. Uh, so let's see, right? But that's for May, towards the end of May. And uh, I kind of feel like I need to get out of town, you know. And just see Austin, probably, you know, stay somewhere in the suburbs, you know. Because I heard Austin is very expensive to actually stay in a hotel, you know. But we'll see, right? We will see. We shall see. I've also been thinking about, um, you know, uh, uh, besides taking it easy, focusing on work, um, I think I said that without repeating myself, that I'm just making like a list of things I want to do, you know, golf being one thing. Um, Um, I haven't really been going out, except Friday, I think we went out, yeah, not that I think, but we did, we did go out to the Liberty Steakhouse, that was nice, right? And, uh, uh, I've been talking to my girlfriend, and, um, I don't know, man. Uh... I guess I don't want to hold my emotions back, you know, like uh, um, I understand I'm going on these dates and uh, that's probably not that healthy, but um, what can you do, right? What can you do? Either you become a celibate, right? Either you become a celibate just stay at home and uh, not hook up, right? Um, or you say, fuck it, I'm just going to go on these dates and uh, not hold myself back, you know? Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel kind of old, which is what I am um, and going out with these young ladies I don't know am I going to get anywhere I have no idea but um, whatever you know I mean that's all I can say whatever given that the uh, social scene is kind of mute you know, we still have fucking pandemic. And um, even with the vaccine, I think they're not going to uh, open the state of New Jersey, forget New York or New York City, fully, you know, you know they're not gonna open that fully anytime soon. I think March 19 is when they are going to open 50% indoor dining, right? Is that what it is? I think so. Um, obviously, you know, this whole thing affects our life, you know, on a daily basis. All right. Um, I think I talked about one thing in many of my podcasts before is this, like, um, This human emotion we have, you know, longing for someone, uh, which is inherent to our, I think, our nature, is that what it is? Love or whatever you call it. I mean, love is a great thing. Everybody should be in love, I think. And, uh, It, it also has to be practical, you know. I don't know what happened. I was talking to my dad actually Saturday. I was actually up, up late. 
and then uh, I heard that my sister who was going to get married she basically pulled the plug and she's not going to do it so I sent her a text message I haven't heard from her uh, I'm assuming that she did that for a reason right well that's her life you know I told her listen um, especially being in uh, in that society Usually families are involved, you know, in a marriage and etc. etc. Right? Betrothed. Although I kind of don't believe in a traditional marriage. Um, you have to actually be practical, right? But, uh, you know, I wish her the best of luck, whatever she wants to do. And the, the, well, the only thing I said is that I wish I could do more for my siblings, especially my younger ones, you know. Um, but they are fine. I mean, you know, it's not that, you know, they have issues or they are going through hardships. But I think at the same time, I also feel that I have been absent because, you know, my parents are getting old and, and you know, And they need me, you know, they need my help, I believe. Um, so this whole citizenship thing it has been just like a hanging sword for me. Hopefully this year I'll get some answers. Um, all right, uh, without sounding too boring. Um, Grammys, I have really no comments on Grammys, you know. Some performances were good, others were okay. You know, I'm not really into like that stuff, you know. Uh, I mean, obviously music, everybody likes music. Music somehow gives us this sort of like, I don't know if it's called inner peace or depending on, you know, what I'm listening to when I talk about myself, you know, I listen to some great music sometimes. And then, you know, I'm an old guy, so I'm into like classic rock and all that. Mm. Some of the greatest hits of rock of all times, you know. I listen to radio, listen to some, uh, you know, 80s, etc. And I think I'm going to actually, I see this, I said this like before, but I haven't done it to like have like a collection of music, you know, that I like and I listen to. Because in my iPhone, I don't really have fucking music, you know. I just go on like SoundCloud or YouTube and just listen to music, you know. But music, music is good, music is good. Being in a, you know, in the night scene of New York, you know, you get to discover a lot of music, and which I have done. As much as I have wasted fucking time, you know, going to clubs and all that. Um, at least I have been introduced to some great, great fucking music. All right, a music is is a food for soul, is that what it is? I'm not sure. I guess the vibrations and all that, you know, the ones that make you feel good, I think that probably is some sort of a, a food for soul, you know. All right, um, it's, you know, it's a fucking work week. Uh, and uh, I'm being asked uh, for proposals, you know, for these new jobs, which is good, you know. I have the ad up for the office manager, but I haven't really interviewed anybody because there's not a lot of work for the office manager, you know. So I'm just going to take it easy on that, although I have to talk to my accountants about the taxes, you know.
April 15th, that's like in one month from now. Actually, I'm going to send them an email. Hey, by the way, so tax season is already here. Uh, because they will be doing my personal as well as business taxes, you know. Um, um, what else? Um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. My fucking boring life, right? I, uh, you know, I go to Hoboken to my uh, bagel shop sandwich, I get a sandwich, I sit on the fucking waterfront and uh, it's nice, you know, especially when the weather is nice, I mean it's time for weather to be nice, right, nicer. I think these are the last fucking cold days of this winter, uh, March in Northeast is still unpredictable as much as fucking April is, right? And uh, I told you guys that this winter has been one of the coldest winters ever. All you climate deniers, climate change deniers are probably using this as a fucking some sort of a leverage that, oh, you know, planet is not warming up. So what the hell you guys are talking about, right? Well, it is warming up, that's for sure. Um, and I'm really not in the mood to get into that fucking discussion, right? So it looks like Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday rain, probably tomorrow also fucking rain and Friday rain. Um, yeah, it has been a tough fucking winter. Um, for us, for everyone, I think, especially for me last year, you know, um, with the fucking pandemic, and I thought I was strong, but I wasn't, you know. Uh, but in any case, uh, without getting into that fucking realm, and uh, in an attempt to march forward, I try not to dwell into the fucking past, All right? Oh, I should have done this. Maybe I should have said that. You know, all those things do not matter. Do not fucking matter. It's true that it's hard to basically get rid of those thoughts of going into the fucking, you know, whatever you call it. You know, the past memories and all that, right? However, as I'm learning, again, without repeating myself, you know, I just have to move forward, you know, march forward. All right, uh, what else uh, do I want to talk about in my podcast, right? Um, I think Oscars are coming up, right? Is that what it is? Is that next month or this month? Um, I haven't watched any of those movies which are being nominated, are going to be nominated, right? When are Oscars? When are Oscars 2021? April 25th, here we go everyone. Uh, 92nd Academy Awards. Oh, wait a fucking minute. So the, basically they moved them to April 25th, I'm assuming, to avoid pandemic, is that what it is? I have no fucking idea. Usually they will be in March or February, right? All right, everyone. Um, I have been watching, you know, some other great movies and shows, which I will talk about towards the end of this podcast, right? Um, a life kind of feels stagnant somehow for me. I don't know why. Um, I don't have a lot of excitement in my life. Is that what it is? Well, I mean, 
Besides working and then coming back home, I did some cooking today. And uh, my fucking like email is not working on the surface. And I told my IT uh, consultant today for him to look into like a Microsoft Surface laptop, you know. Because Microsoft tablet is a fucking pain in the ass to carry, especially if you're traveling, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, I can't connect my fucking email on my uh, home computer that I use for work. Um, in any case, uh, first world problems, right? First fucking world problems. Um, and then fucking TikTok, I don't know why I downloaded TikTok, you know, I'm looking at these fucking videos, some of them are just, most of the fucking TikTok videos, you know what they are, all these young ladies on these fucking TikTok videos, right, and that's what it is, basically, showing their bodies, whatever the fuck it is, right, and uh, it's just, I think it's a fucking waste of time. As much as YouTube, I mean, YouTube, at least you can listen to some podcast, whatever, right? You can listen to my podcast, right? Uh, but TikTok is for fucking young people, and uh, and I'm too old for that. I'm too fucking old for that. I mean, in that sense, I'm kind of old school, you know. Well, I'm old school in many ways. Um, um, although I do believe that, you know, uh, technology somehow is going to leave us behind if you don't catch up, right? Technology, you know, the, the, uh, the fucking AI, is that going to be a reality? Well, AI is a reality already, but machines going to actually take over the world, that's a far-fetched idea. I, do, I just don't believe in that. I do not believe in that. Um, um, how about uh, aliens? Are they going to contact us? No, not the way we think. Um, are perceived from the fucking movies, right? I think we are the aliens. That's what it is. We become the aliens after a certain age. You know? Um, if we realize the potential of a human mind, it's, uh, human mind is powerful. Human mind is fucking powerful. And, uh, and it's just that we have to know how to use it. I mean, I don't know how to fucking use my mind. But sometimes I lose my fucking mind, right? Um, and then the ideas, right? New ideas. Um, I'm not that innovative in that sense, you know. Um, maybe, I don't know, somehow I have to untangle that wiring in my brain, I have no idea. You know, the creative, like, uh, creative side of things. Uh, again, you know, I, I don't know, I just get lazy. I become lazy and I think that's what they say, right? That you, you become lazy or you don't do things and then later on in your life you regret not doing things more than you regret doing things wrong, right? In any case, um, that also becomes part of what I was talking about earlier. You know, the regrets, the repentances, the uh, resentments, right? Uh, I wish that we could have some sort of a, 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 
uh, a way to erase the past memories, right? Well, I guess if you erase the past memories, then what happens? We become new? Is that what it is? Start afresh? I have no idea. Um, in any case, without uh, really sounding too fucking like, I don't know, do I sound fucking down? I have no idea. But uh, I'm just going to do a, a brief podcast for this week or uh, for, for tonight, Monday. And I'm just going to catch up with some of the work stuff, I'm going to watch a movie and then just going to pass the fuck out, right? I probably have another day tomorrow. I don't know. I have no idea yet. Maybe. Um, what else? That's it. Um, and I got a few, few topics in my cheat sheet, which I'll talk about when we get there. Okay, so is there anything that's bothering me that I want to talk about? I mean, you know, this is not my therapy session. But uh, I have been actually, and I think I've said this many times, that as I'm getting older, I think this, this notion that I am, you know, I am, uh, I'm just like uh, this, um, what do you call, uh, uh, not, well, I mean, not depressed, but somehow I feel the, the need for, you know, for sharing my life with someone, you know, I mean, besides the point of me going on dates and all that, but if I'm fucking lonely, you know, that's not going to help me. So, um, maybe I should get on hinge. I was, uh, I was at my sister's place the other day. I was talking to her and her boyfriend. They were telling me to get on Hinge. I mean, I'm on Hinge, but I just, all these fucking dating sites. I should start my own thing, I think, dating. Maybe I should start my own dating website, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, if you don't have anybody, you know, to, like, share your life. I'm not talking about, like, sharing everything you do in your fucking life. But, you know, there are things you like to talk about with somebody you like to talk about with, right? Talk to, with, is that how it is in English language? But you get my point is that, um, you know, life is not easy to be spent by yourself. You know, you realize that as you get older. So far, all you younglings out there, I'm not saying that you guys should act desperate or anything like that. But have a good partner in life, you know, that's very important. Somebody, you know, you can just feel easy with, you know, and uh, share your whatever, right? Good intimacy and all that, obviously, right? Biology 101. Um, yeah, that's what I've been feeling and, uh, especially after last year, you know, because many of us, uh, I think, at least for me, you know, I realized that, uh, I should have had a steady girlfriend, you know, even now, you know, uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's one of my priorities, not that I want to sound like a fucking desperate person, but I mean, I, I have these ladies that I go out with and, you know, but I think I need a little more than that, obviously, right? Um, okay, everyone, so uh, I think I have few cheats, few, few topics in my cheat sheet, not cheats, sir. And uh, let's just jump into that. And uh, I presume again that you guys are having a great 
start of the week, right? All right, my first topic, everyone, you can meteorites. Me meteorites, right? Meteorites, 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 right? So I think this was a week ago, maybe, that some meteorites fell on, on, the, on the planet Earth, you know, specifically to UK. UK meteorites, meteorites, how do you, how do you fucking spell it? Meteor, meteorites. Right, so um, spectacular display in UK leads to rare meteor meteorite recovery. Right, okay, so this was March 9. Here we go. So they have actually recovered some of the uh, pieces of those meteorites and. Uh, um, some of them actually look fucking out of this world, you know. They look like fucking graphite or one of those, you know, elements are, uh, you know, uh, I guess a mixture of elements, right? And they are uh, carbonaceous chondrites, right? Meteorite is, is of a type called carbo carbonaceous, carbonaceous chondrite, right? But they are looking for some sort of an organic material and amino acids in these meteorites that fell on UK soil, right? Um, have they found anything? Uh, I don't think so. Ashley King of the Department of Earth Sciences at the Natural History Museum in Manchester was among the first on the scene when the meteorite was discovered on March 3rd. Okay, so what's the news? I don't think there's any news as far as the biological life or organic life in, in, in those, right? All right, uh, I thought that was very interesting because if... Um, those meteorites, meteor, meteorites have any form, any organic life in them. Uh, they are extremely rare meteorites, apparently. But uh, I don't see anything as far as organic life, right? Okay. So uh, that was my topic. And uh, my next topic is uh, Neil Tyson and Michael Sherman. So Neil deGrasse Tyson was on Michael Shermer, you know, he does his skeptic kind of like podcast. And Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is an astrophysicist, he was on his show. So they were talking about almost everything that's otherworldly, kind of, you know, from dark energy to dark matter. And uh, some very interesting topics. Um, you know, uh, from human evolution, you know, evolution of biology and uh, and then what happened before, what started Big Bang and all that. I think I have to, I, I want to listen to that again. That was a very interesting fucking uh, podcast. So uh, I recommend it to everybody, Michael Shermer. I think he has a podcast on YouTube. And um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's a, fucking brilliant astrophysicist and he has I think does he have a new book book on uh, out does he have a new book uh, I'm not sure maybe he does I haven't read any of his books maybe I should all right everyone um, my next topic is DMT for depression okay now this is very interesting DMT as you all know if you don't is called the dimethyltryptamine, right? It's one of the compounds that causes hallucinations, I believe, right? I haven't taken DMT, but um, 
in UK, it's being, it's going to be used for therapeutic purposes, especially for people with depression, you know, uh, worry, uh, severe depression that cannot be treated with traditional antidepressants, is that what it is? So DMT, as I hear, many of you know, you, or you do too, is and a compound actually is is uh, made by the human body uh, just like many other species right plants ayahuasca has dmt right they brew from south america and um, and uh, it gives you some sort of a near that near death experience is that what it is you get into some other realm and somehow you can treat the depression, is that what it is? Uh, but they are being used now. It's being used now. I think I said that in my previous podcast that the psychedelics, I think, are coming back. This time, not in the era of like, uh, you know, the roaring 20s, like the 60s of the psychedelic movement and all that, right? But I think they're coming back. Uh, with a great potential for therapeutic use, medicine, and all that, right? Um, so that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Um, and uh, am I going to try DMT? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. But I thought that was interesting. Uh, I mean, you know, they have used, uh, they're, they're using psilocybin, which is the compound in uh, magic mushrooms, which is being used for, uh, again, therapeutic purposes, you know, depression and all that, right? Even for uh, entheo, entheogen, right? It gives you almost some sort of a, like a spiritual experience, is that what it is? And then listen to Bill Burr. I think he took mushrooms recently and he was like fucking talking about that hilariously. Hysterical, right? All right, everyone. So those are my topics in my cheat sheet. And uh, now for the movies and shows, right? Okay, so I've been watching Dust Till Dawn, right? Dust Till Dawn, um, the TV show. Not the movie, Dust Till Dawn, the movie. I think I watched that like a few years ago with George Clooney. I think this show is based on that, but they have stretched it and, you know, made it a little more uh, conducive for TV, is that what it is? But the theme is the same, so without any spoiler alerts, although it's kind of an old show, Dust Till Dawn, interesting. Um, and then I have, I watched, what was the other movie I watched? Olympus is Falling, right? Ah, uh, it's an okay movie. I like the action parts, you know, but the story is kind of like, you know, one of those like old Bruce Willis movies, but with what's his name, Gerald Butler, instead of fucking Bruce Willis, right? Um, and then the other movie I watched was Marauders, Marauders, is that, is that what you say? Mar Marauders, Mar Marauders, M-A-R-A-U-D-E-R-S, with Christopher, Christopher uh, Maloney, right? Great movie, you know, I'm usually not into those kind of movies, but it's a great movie. And the story is kind of like, uh, you know, suspense, thriller. And then last night I watched another movie, it's called, uh, it's an old movie, it's called uh, Peppermint, Peppermint, if you are into that kind of like action movies, fucking amazing uh, movie, and starring, what's her name, uh, Peppermint starring uh, Jennifer Garner, Jennifer Garner, yeah, that's a fucking great movie. Um, and... Um, and uh, is there any other shows coming up 
I have no fucking idea. I guess I'll have to find out, right? And uh, with that said, I'm going to close out my podcast, everyone. I will see you all next or this coming weekend.